Hello, my name is Caden, and welcome to Swart Out Salvage Yard up in uh, middle of nowhere, North Dakota. So I'm here searching for some stuff, the Oldsmobile 98. Hopefully, gonna find a Delta 88 or something, this face panel. <clears throat> so I can kind of fix this up today. And if I'm lucky, I'll get a bumper and a bunch of other miscellaneous items I need, like a steering wheel maybe and uh, armrests and whatnot. So uh, we're gonna go look around and see what we can find. Here's some more of the yard. Here's even a little saber right there. And there, both my same color. And there's still lots more to look through. It's quite a bit different since the last time I was out here. They've moved a lot of stuff, which kind of um, scares me. So I guess we're gonna keep looking around because yeah, I've even walked quite a ways from the front. Let's keep looking. I see this white car down on the end here. I'm guessing it's a Cadillac though, but I gotta get up closer to be for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's a Cadillac. And I'm not seeing too much else yet, but we'll keep going. Yep, it was a Cadillac, and there's actually another one to, behind it and one there. And some things over here. Wait, that's that maroon one is also a Cadillac. Oh, well search continues check this out I think this is a I think it's a Buick Skylark correct me if I'm wrong I'm gonna set some things down and try to look at it here definitely looks very Buick like probably early 80s any badges on it oh it's a Chrysler I'm, I'm so embarrassed it's a LeBaron very cool, these taillights almost look like they'd fit on a Bonneville. Huh, well, Walmart PPI. Abandoned car at Walmart, it seems like. So, interesting. So check this out here, this is a Pontiac Transport minivan. Pretty, pretty interesting looking here, even has the key uh, no back seats. Pretty gutted for the most part. I wonder... I can't get on the other side for uh, viewing the odometer, but... Uh, let's see. Two, what does that say? 220? 120? Hmm. Interesting. But it looks like there might even be one more over here. So here we are here. Actually, the fence is knocked down here. I think there's no door handle here, but I think how do these work? Door won't budge, it's probably locked. I think this is Illumina APV. Yeah, it was. I could see where the Chevy badge was. Very cool. Very cool. Not a lot much going on in here. I don't know if I can view the odometer from here because I can't really get to the other side because of the tree. Oh well, we'll just assume it lived a good life, even though the back glass is blown out. Ah, haven't found anything that good yet, but this is just one corner of the yard. There's a lot of walking left to do. Another Lumina APV. But the odometer on this one is accessible, and I believe it says 286057. That's pretty, pretty solid run. So, and then there's even more of them. <laughs> I can't believe there's so many of these, but not a, not any of my cars that I need. Now check this thing out. This is something. Uh, Interesting, I don't see often. This is an Oldsmobile Bravada, first generation. I used to own one. I used to own two of them, actually. A green and a blue one. And this one has the digital dash in it, like most of them did. 
gray interior leather interesting wheels for it are in the back with some decent looking tires on them probably older but um that's pretty cool i don't see many of these often spare tire doesn't look too bad either but um oh and i can't read the dot code on it original olds hubcap tail lights good condition pretty pretty interesting rig this is also a bravada as far as i know that's probably about the only one here but uh yeah, still searching. Still a lot of area left to search. So I've now found a section I've kind of never been to before. There's an old charger. Kind of cool. Uh, kind of some of their crushed sections. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I'll find a bumper for my car. But unlikely. But I'm going to go up over here. See what there is over here. Because I was about like a quarter mile that way. I've been walking a lot. And I mean, I'm... I'm sweating. It is hot today and it is very humid out, but uh, we're going to keep going. Well, that appears to be the crusher over there. Um, it's an interesting, that green little car. Ah, I forget what they're called. Kind of looks like a Pinto or something. I imagine that's where a lot of the Delta 88s went, uh, 98s, everything H by. There used to be so many LeSabres and Delta 88s here, guys, and I'm really fucking... Really disappointed, actually. I can't believe they just got rid of, like, every single one. But, I'm not done searching. Haven't gone through the whole yard yet, so. We'll keep looking. So this is kind of cool, I guess. This is a Cavalier wagon. Um, not sure of the year, but it looks late 80s to me. Doesn't look too bad, doesn't look too rotten or anything. It's got some body damage. Glass broken out of it. Old Delco style radio in there. Oh, let me see. I'm holding my tools and stuff, so it's a little difficult. Oh, it stinks. That radio looks like it's in really good shape, actually. That's crazy. Automatic. Blue interior, crank windows, manual locks for miles 5, 4, 54, 755. Could be 154 though, but interesting to say the least. And man, it was hot in there. Oh, let's keep looking though. I finally found something kind of worth looking into more. Buick Park Avenue. Which is very similar to my own car. Um, looks pretty solid. Ooh, that doesn't hold up. Hold up. What? What? Did the uh, something must have? I don't know. That wheel shouldn't be like that. I wonder if the rear tire rod snapped out or something. No front wheels. The door is on the... Oh man, I wish these were blue. But it still has the same problem. This control panel looks nice though. For both sides. And for miles, 149234. Really basic cluster. Just fuel and speed. That's the most this is pretty base except for the as far as the gauge cluster goes twilight sentinel we got power seats both sides power mirrors nice comfortable seats look at this radio here and a nice climate control box this dash vents probably different than what i have i don't know what that is there nice hood ornament that sagging headliner. This is actually a pretty solid car. Looks to be at least. I wonder what year is this? This is a 1990. Hey, this door actually opens on these. Whoa, this uh, these, these I think is the back seat I'm going to take with me. 
because I believe I'm missing them in my 98. And yeah, they're both in there and they both look pretty nice. Well, I'm going to snag those and keep them. And that is one good thing I found so far. Some nuts and bolts and stuff. Anything in the... Oh, wow, look at all these tapes. Cassette tapes. Crown Royal bag. I think I'm taking the Crown Royal bag, guys. I gotta. I gotta. Oh, cool. I'm gonna definitely take some pictures of this one. I'm wondering if the trunk will open, but I kind of highly doubt it. So, well, this is a Cutlass Sierra. Earlier, late 90s. Ooh. A lot of pine needles in the door. Oh, there's a set of keys and a key fob. I think this had an aftermarket remote start, possibly, unless this is factory. But I don't think so. And these kind of look like Ford keys that I normally see. Anyway, another radio that looks we're in real nice shape. This one had only 176,000 miles. Blue on blue. Pretty cool. Pretty clean, actually. The outside on uh, the paint's bad. Got some nice white wall tires. Looks like power locks, power windows. Cool, cool, cool. And I don't think the front is too much to look at. No, not really. But, cool car, finding a little bit older stuff, um, kind of get down to my last few sections here and uh, getting unlucky, but we'll see, we're almost done, but not quite. Well, let's see, towards the entrance, we have Illumina, an Oldsmobile 88, and I don't know what this is, Maybe some Ford wagon, Chrysler wagon, oh, Chrysler station wagon another Plymouth van I, they keep so many of those around but none of my cars hey that's that's ridiculous have a couple more spots to check just some odds and ends that I may have not walked by yet but uh other than that I think this might be just a big disappointment but uh, we'll see so as to my understanding, based on where I'm at in the yard, this would have probably been the row slash rows that had a lot of the Delta 88s and LeSabres that are no longer here, fortunately. Um, I'm going to do a few more minutes of peeking around just in case I miss something over here in this corner, but... I think I pretty much went through this whole place and only found that one late 80s Park Avenue. But we'll keep looking for another minute. Well, because this is the only thing available to me, this Park Avenue is the winner. There ain't anything else out here anymore. Pretty shitty. Pretty disappointed. I wasted a lot of time looking, although there was some cool stuff. Um, but I pointed the oil sender unit off this one because it's got the doesn't have the gauge it has the electric light just like my 98 so it should work and i believe oh hey the store opens cool this uh oh yeah see the fan should uh the blower motor resistor i'm hoping is the same I'm going to work on pulling it though, because mine has a speed, certain speed settings, but I don't know. I guess we're going we're gonna to find out this glove box light. That would be nice to have too, but I don't think I'm going to spend too much time on that. This is actually a pretty nice car. It's actually really nice. Passenger side armrest is still intact um yeah well anyway i'm gonna get working on this 
Well guys, we got our Crown Royal bag of goods. And that's about all we're gonna get out of this flickering dash. <sighs> Ooh, look at that. There's a tick on me. I gotta get that son bitch off. Yeah. Yeah, one second. Yeah, yeah, you don't wanna let those guys get on you and suck your blood out. But anyway, that's gonna conclude our uh Our tour of this yard is complete. I may be back one day, but I let them know how disappointed I was about the selection, but yeah, I can't also complain too much. I did find some stuff, and these cars are getting older, so the general public doesn't drive these anymore, so. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this tour with me. It's unfortunate we didn't find too much cool stuff but i'll see you guys in the next video take care